welcome my we finna family um so i know that you just got a video and um it's been a lot of videos coming at you back to back um so you should have just seen my launch of my etsy shop video even though it's a soft launch right now um and you should have seen by now my um first savings funds first savings challenge cash stuffing of save first savings challenge video excuse me of 2024 so that should already be out if you have not watched that go ahead and take a look at um, my etsy shop video as well as the savings challenge video and um you could do that you could stop and go do that and then come back or you could just do that after you finish this video but i just wanted to come to you all today because i got my first sale on my etsy shop -da -da -da. <laughs> i did i got my first sale on my etsy shop and i am elated i'm so excited and i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for the support um my sister friend gwen she purchased um she made the first purchase on my etsy shop and um her in her uh, youtube she's also a youtuber a fellow youtuber and her youtube channel is that's so gwenny i will put that down in the description box i will tag her go and follow her she's a faith-based channel and she is a wife she's a mom um a hard-working employee she is a minister and so i believe a pastor right sis um assistant pastor and associate okay she'll correct me in the chat <laughs> she'll correct me in the comment section um but yes and so if you want some lifestyle vlogs family content and also some every now and again receiving encouraging words um, that will uplift you and drive you further towards your God-given purpose, then feel free to go and subscribe to my sis and let her know that We Finna sent you over there, okay? Um, you are from the We Finna family. So you all are going to um, help me pack my first order. I'm going to pack and ship my first order. Woo! Now, my shop says two, but the first one was me because <laughs> I had to see how the processes and the shipping worked. So this is my actual first order and I am so happy. So I'm going to just walk through the process. She ordered the stand in the sun challenge. And again, if you have not seen my um, Etsy store launch video, I've asked you to go because I explain in detail what each of the challenges are that are on my shop. Um... I believe there are only three so far, but I have more that I have to put up there. Um, so yes, she purchased the Stand in the Sun Challenge, which is in total, it's going to save you $800. And so I'm so appreciative. We're going to pack that today. Um, and I have something else that I want to show you. But before I do that, I don't remember if I showed you all this. This is also in my shop. Um, you could choose to get this in the digital version and you just keep printing it out every time that you need it. This is a savings challenge tracker, okay? Um, the way that this is completed is you put the date that you, of course, start listing all of your challenges down and you put the name of each challenge that you have or that you're working on, right? So you know which challenges you are currently have in your binder that you have money stuffed into, the total is how much that challenge will yield by the time that you are finished. So this is not something that you have to write down and then uh, erase and then put down. No, this is the total, which means how much you're going to end up saving once you complete that challenge. The date that you have completed the challenge, you do not fill this in until you have completed it. And then where you are allocating the challenge to, okay? So for example, a quick example, I have my own, of course, in my binder. And um, you can kind of see all of the challenges that I have. So I have three challenges that are completed. I completed them on January the 3rd. I started these um, this form on the, the 14th of December. And so I have all the challenges that I'm currently doing, what all of those challenges will yield, um, when the date that I completed it and the allocation is going to I have some that are to be determined because I haven't decided where I'm going to send that money yet, but the others, I have a goal for my money when I save. So this is also on my, um, Etsy shop. 
And so uh, you can get this. I think it may just be digitally. I think I only have this um, as a digital version, not just laminated it for myself. But uh, yeah, so you can get that digital. Um, I think it's only like a dollar, right? It's very inexpensive and it just comes straight to you as a PDF, okay? So that's that. So now let's continue to move on. So because Gwen is our first um, shopper in the Etsy shop, I decided because she is first, I'm going to give her currently a pre-sale exclusive. This challenge that I'm about to show you all is not even on my shop. I did not even mention this in the Etsy video. This is a separate challenge that I have coming to the shop by January the 31st. Um, but because of her being the first um, shopper and the, making the first purchase, I wanted to show her my gratitude and my appreciation. So I decided to throw in a freebie. <laughs> so if you're watching this, sis, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And I decided to throw in a free freebie for both her and her daughters. So she has uh, three beautiful daughters. And so um, the name of this challenge set is third times the charm okay and so um as you know i have the nursery rhyme challenges but i also have storybook challenges okay so these are the first set of storybook challenges and third times the charm means that we're doing stories of threes so we have the three um bears we have the three billy goats and we have the three little pigs okay so this is just the dashboard that you would put inside of your envelope where you are putting your money for these challenges. So this is just your A6 dashboard. If if you have an A5 envelope, you can put it in there as well and that would work. Okay. So the first challenge and these are double-sided challenges. These are mystery savings, okay? So the difference between this and the nursery rhyme is the nursery rhyme challenges tell you what you're going to be saving. These are mystery challenges, okay? Don't worry. These are both for high budget and low budget, okay? So you don't have to worry about, oh, if I get it, is it going to be too high? It's for both, okay? I'm very um, cognizant of that. So we have the three Billy Goats mystery savings challenge, and it's just the words are be brave. I'm going to get better with... We're not going to talk about these squares, okay? Maybe we'll talk about them, but not right now. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so let me just make sure you all are straight. I feel like you're crooked a little. Um, okay, so be brave. And then there's a dollar amount under all of these scratches. Um, if you know the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff, why they had to be brave, you'll see. Okay, so we have that, the three Billy Goats. Hopefully you can see this. You flip it over and it's another mystery save, um, mystery savings challenge. Okay, and then we have the three little pigs, also a mystery save, and then that's double sided. And then last but not least, we have Goldilocks and the three bears. Okay, and both of those are double sided as well. So this is a total of six challenges as well as a dashboard um, that I am sending to my sis just as a freebie for my gratitude of believing in my shop and being the first one to purchase um, without there being any other reviews or any other, you know, um, people that she could sound off on. She's the first one. And so I just wanted to say thank you. And so I'm going to add that freebie in along with the stand in the sun challenges that she ordered as well. Okay. So you all, all are going to be with me as I pack her order. So let me go ahead and print out the shipping label. What's this called? Label printer. All right, great. So we have now the shipping label. I'm gonna sit that there so you all can't see her address. All right. Hopefully y'all aren't crooked. All right, and so now I'm going to print your packing slip. Thank you so, 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 so much. I mean, this truly 
it touched my heart. You know, starting a business, it's not easy. You know, one change can be difficult. And two, you also don't know really how it'll be received or perceived. And so sometimes it can be, you know, um, you, you, you're there one moment and it's just a, a feeling of being overwhelmed kind of comes to you. Um, so seeing this first order has encouraged me so much to keep going, right? To keep going um, and to, you know, keep creating. And so I am so grateful for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and print out your shipping label. I mean, I print out your shipping label, label, print out your packing slip. Give me just one second. I need to put another table in my, I need to put another table in my, um, in my room, my, uh, what is this called? Workspace. All right. So I have now the packing slip. I just confirm. All right. And so I'm going to put the packing slip. So my mailers, I just got them from Amazon. I want to do something um, custom, but for right now, I saw these and I just thought they were cute. So I decided to go with them. So I'm going to go ahead and start packing her order. Make sure that I have everything. So I'm going to take my time to do this. Put in her packing slip. Hopefully, hold on guys, let me make sure you can see. Okay. I'm going to put her packing slip in. Okay. Then I'm going to place her, the challenge that she purchased in. And then I'm going to place the freebies in. All right. I'm not going to seal it up just yet because I do want to also add in a thank you notice. So let me write that really quickly. Give me one second. All right, my handwriting is not the best, so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I just have a handwritten note. When I was younger, when I was in school, let me put this on top of the packing stuff. When I was in school, um, I my writing would be so bad to the point where I would do cursive sometimes, I would do print sometimes, and it would all be within the same document. And so, okay, so now I'm gonna seal up the package. Make sure that it is secure. I'm going to add my sticker. Thank you for supporting my small business. Okay, and so that is the package. That's how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to add the shipping label. Put that on there so you can't see her address. Mine is just the address that's on there for me is just my PO box. But okay, so yes, um, there we are. This is my first package from Etsy that is ready to be shipped. Oh, I am so 
excited. Oh, this feels so good. So I'm going to get this shipped out tomorrow. They're expecting pretty bad weather for us. So um, if I'm not able to do it tomorrow, I will get it shipped out as soon as possible. Thank you so much, sis. And thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope that you will um, see something that you like. I do not currently have the uh, three times a charm savings challenges on my Etsy shop. I will, however, have them in my shop by January the 12th, okay? They will be in my shop by January the 12th. So if you're seeing this and you liked the challenges that you saw in this video, um, you will be able to access them and purchase them after January the 12th. Um, if you favorite my shop on Etsy, then you'd be able to be notified when I post something new. Um, or you can follow me here because I may do a short about new listings and or, or full video. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all my wee finna family. I am looking forward to what 2024 is going to bring us all. And I pray that you all have an amazing day. God bless y'all. Thank you.